Hello and welcome to my video blog for Sunday, February the 19th. You know, this week in the world of politics and national news, it has been a show me the money week. Yes. For starters, we have our president who's out on the West Coast campaigning for those dollars this political season and doing quite well on the fundraising trip. Super PACs are back which means that candidates can now spend as much money as they raise. Good thing, bad thing, it all depends. What's up? The Dow. Everyone's happy about that. What's also up? Gas prices. Which means that people still can't catch a break because we can't get any traction. Dow up, so are gas prices. prices. Not helping anyone. Now it's tax season. And those GOP candidates have released their taxes so we can see just how rich they all are. Some more richer than others, but they all have money. Speaking of taxes, those Republicans in the House have agreed to those tax cut extensions for we the little people, which means that those who need a break are still going to get a break a little longer. It's a good thing. Now, if only they can agree on women's health issues, but I digress. We won't go there. Something else that we've got to talk about if we're following the trail of the money is General Motors. Now, General Motors is back in the news for a really good thing because they are in the black. Yes, reporting earnings. Reporting so many earnings that now they are able to extend bonuses for their employees. Some of them are going to be getting some very hefty checks. $7,000? Hey, nothing to sneeze at for some employees. Not all, but some. That's a really good thing. So all this proves that that bailout of the automobile industry a few years ago was a risk that actually paid off. Now, if only we can get the financial industry to step up. What about that bailout? Haven't seen any progress there. Come on. Come on. We're still waiting. Still waiting. Now, if it feels like someone's always watching you, if you feel a little bit of paranoia on your back, thank Google. Yes, thank Google. Because if someone's following you around, it's probably because Google has allowed um, different agencies to break through those firewall protections that you thought you were blocked from. Yes, they have allowed privacy, set, privacy settings on our mobile devices to become public view for a few corporations. Now we're all wondering, why did you do it, Google? Was it for the money? Was it for the money? Bad Google, bad, bad, bad. Either way, it's been released. I just wanna know, where's my app to protect me from this happening? Where's that app? We're all wondering. Because we never saw it coming. Something else we never saw coming, Rick Santorum. Yes, Rick Santorum is up in the polls and he's leading a surge, collecting state by state. He's like the little sweater vest that could. I think I can. I think I can. And he's making progress, that little sweater vest. Yes, making his way. I think I can. I think I can. And he's been gaining traction and gaining states. And we're all wondering, where does Rick Santorum come from? Well, he came out of nowhere. And we got to really assess this situation because who's been supporting whom this political season? And if we look at it, Mitt Romney has the endorsement of Donald Trump. Rich supporting the rich. No stretch there. Newt Gingrich. Who's supporting Newt? Well, he's got the pizza and peanuts crowd with Herman Cain supporting him and the Palins. Pizza and peanuts. Who does Rick Santorum have in supporting him? Who's in his corner? Well, apparently it's those conservative Republicans who vote. That's who he has. Nothing flashy, nothing fancy, just straight up conservatives who go to the polls and they've been showing up and leading that surge to help that little sweater vest make his way through. Which means this all kind of sums up for more money, more problems for that Mitt Romney. Yes, he's like a Biggie Smalls song. More money and more problems. 
Except it's just not that catchy. Because he wish it was more catchy. Because then he'd maybe he'd catch some votes. But it hasn't been happening. Because he seems to be slipping in the polls. And everyone's wondering what happened to that surge. Who's going to bail out Mitt Romney? That's why I want to know. Because if we remember back, Mitt Romney was the guy who said that the automobile industry should not be bailed out. Remember that? In his own home state of Detroit, the automobile industry, where they're headquartered, Detroit, Michigan, where you were born. Yes, he said, let them fail. So I'm just wondering, should we let Mitt Romney fail? I'm just wondering, just saying it out loud. Now, someone who has not wavered in regards to their state and their position is Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey. Oh, yes. That man is very consistent on, the, on his views and the way he feels. And this past week, he received a fair amount of criticism for his decision um, to have the state um, lower their flags on Saturday in remembrance of singer Whitney Houston. Now, Christie basically receives kudos, in my opinion, um, for standing firm on his position and basically stating, look, Saturday is a time to honor and remember her talent and her contributions that she made. And she was born in the state, and we need to remember that, and that's why we're going to lower the flags. And I got to really thank Governor Christie for um, bringing the conversation back and centering it on where it needed to be. I also would, would like to thank the family for allowing all of us, the fans, to view her funeral. Um, it was a very private one moment in time for them that they allowed us the fans to participate in and to see and, and bring closure in our lives as well. So thank you so much to the family. Um, rest in peace Whitney Houston. We will forever, always, always love you.